What's up guys? Yeah, I'm back with another video and thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. I just want to say that right off the bat. It is crazy how I was able to hit that milestone in under a year. Like that's that's kind of crazy to me. So because we hit that, I'm going to be doing, it's kind of like a part two to my mask collection video. I got five masks. I got five masks that I will be covering today instead of like the nine I had last time. The reason for that though, in between making these masks, I was working on a suit. This is the mask to that suit, which is my Ditko suit. We're gonna be covering that in a little bit, but yeah, let's get started. So our first mask is the Tasm One mask. <laughs> I won't be talking about this mask that much because I have an entire video on it, but I will be discussing things that I have learned about this mask after making it. The eyes could definitely get better, like I could definitely add a curve right here. That would have been better in this eye. It's a little off-center compared to this one. And this kind of muffles my voice a little bit. But it's mainly because of the amount of puff paint that's on this mask. I had to add red puff paint. I didn't do hexagons. Definitely could do hexagons. If I make another mask, it will have hexagons next time. And then I had to do the webs. Taking the mask off. Yeah, it, it's, it doesn't look that bad when you look at it. But it is one of my better masks, but it's definitely not the best. I definitely like this, like as you can see, there's a bit of variation difference uh, with the reds because I didn't know that there were two variations of red for puff paint, but hey, now I know that. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Alright, we got another Miles mask. Yes, I made another because I didn't really like my other one. And as you can see, this one looks way better in comparison. As you can see right here, the puff paint job is way better than my other one. It's a textured fabric, it's hexagonal. It's a black hexagonal fabric. And the eyes are a, a different kind of eye. I only took inspiration from the inside cover of the video game because I just love the art and I love the way the lenses look, so that's what these are mainly inspired by. Can I just say, this is not Miles' year, my guy. He has to take on Spider-Man 2099, Symbiote Spider-Man, and Spider-Man Loaded! But yeah, this mask is definitely a lot better than the, the other one. If I were to say anything else, this mask was indeed hand sewed. I do have this problem with a lot of my masks right here where it sticks out. I'm still trying to figure out how to do better with that, but it's taken time. Like I'm definitely getting better, but this is definitely another one of my better masks. It's kind of with all my newer masks because they're, they're better versions of my older ones. Like I literally am making a newer version of one of my uh, older masks, a last mask in my last video uh, covering masks, but yeah, that's my Miles mask. <laughs> so as we know, I have my own spider sona. This is the second mask for it. I made a new one um, with the use of fleece fabric and the lenses are way better than my old mask, but I do have problems with this thing, even though it's so simple. One, you can probably already tell, this neck is way too small! I hate it. I hate this neck. Another thing, you can see how I'm looking up a lot. These lenses are way too high on this mask. Too, too hard. So, what I am planning to do is use my sewing machine and sew up a new mask with my fleece fabric and then remove the lenses off of this because I think these lenses are very good. It is way too tight on my face and it hurts. I need to get this off, bro. But yeah, this mask is definitely like a pain in the ass. The lenses are very good, but besides that, this mask is not very good. <laughs> oh! Finally! A mask I can breathe well in! This is my uh, Del Auto Spider-Man mask. This is obviously another one of my best masks. The webbing is very good. I actually uh, did a double layer of webs instead of just one layer because Liverpool reacts really weirdly to puff paint or it'll sink in, then you can still see 
a bit of that texture from the Liverpool, so I did a double layer for this and it looks way better. This is gonna be the same puff paint I will be using for my new mask and Alright, I, I, I'm tired of hiding it. This this is the this is my newer mask. This is the Lotus V2 mask I'm working on. As you can see, it's thinner. It, it's thinner foam. Uh, yeah. Thinner. We like it when we are thinner. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. I, I'm joking! Back to this mask. We got this point out again. Stupid. This is also my first sewing machine mask. It's not the first mask I made with a mask I sewed from a sewing machine. That is my next mask. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, that's why you can see this stitch is out here instead of in the middle like usual, and this is out. It was a very new thing to me, so I didn't really know how to do it exactly, but this mask isn't actually that bad. As you can see, the lenses, they're different a little bit. This one is a little wider, this one is a little more squinty. This one, I cutted the inside out a little further would have matched up with this more but overall this mask is very good and uh i quite like it it is definitely some of my best work but we can do better hobie brown in the house baby uh, why did the hell did i just sound like austin powers Ruby, baby this is my spider punk mask based off of across the spider verse but again, I did a sewing machine with this, but this time I hemmed the bottom of the uh, fabric, so it's a lot better. And this is a lot easier to sew than the Del Auto mask because this is fleece fabric. Spandex is so annoying. So with a sewing machine, it's really annoying. Webbing isn't 100% accurate. Don't believe in consistency. But that is because I only used an action figure to help me, but it's not all the way down because I didn't want to, I was lazy. The lenses are probably some of the coolest stuff I've done. I did use white jersey fabric for the mesh, and then I did a puff pink sort of edge to it because I thought that fit Hobie Brown more. Because in the comics, Hobie Brown was like homeless until he got like bit by a spider and then he was all about like protesting and shit. I hate the AM, I hate the PM, I hate the But yeah, this mask is very good. These uh, spikes, they're flat. I was too lazy to do circled ones. They're like, kind of like a forgot what that shape is called. I'm a failure in school. I'm kidding, I get all A's. Screw you. <laughs> Nerd. This mask is definitely one of my best and I quite like it. Now that I've covered all of my masks like this, now we can cover the best suit of mine. The Ditko suit. Ah! I'm sorry. On a personal note, my voice probably kind of sucks because I was just at a concert last night, but I'm back. I want to film a video. I need to film more videos for y'all. Oh my God, another video coming out in the future. I'm waiting for something to arrive. Uh like in early august so then i can actually make that video but yeah uh let's get on in the dicko suit oh the dicko suit definitely one of my best suits i've made and I want to go into further detail about why I love this suit so much. The shirt piece, as you can see, is very homemade. I uh, sewed two shirts together. The stitching is like hella tiny, so it's super durable. The front logo was made with black leather I got at Michael's. I took a little bit of inspiration from Spider PNG, and I took a bit of inspiration from the comic books itself, because this is my favorite type of logo for Ditko. I know it usually has the very bulky logo uh, in Amazing Fantasy, but I didn't do that because I don't really like it. I don't like how it's bulky. It looks funny to me. It looks more like a tick when, you know, he's supposed to be Spider-Man. The back logo actually was from a red sweater because I wanted the back logo's red to be thicker than the actual red itself on the suit. Yeah, the logo is red. Don't, don't go all sicko mode, mode on me in the comments. comments. I know it's red. And I know it's not light blue. I know that. I did that intentionally. This is not an Amazing Fantasy 15 suit. This is a Ditko suit. Get your facts straight! The webbing is puff painted. 
as you guys already know, and has web wings. They're pretty good. They were sewed on the outside because uh, I don't know how to do the other way of doing it, and it is a black net because I wanted it to be very accurate to the way it looks in the comics that Ditko would draw. There uh, is a turtleneck, but I uh, sewed that on so it's not like the greatest. It's pretty loose. Sometimes it'll fall down. But overall, it's not that bad of a uh, neck, um, and I'm very glad I added it on there. I also uh, cut the inside out, so then it would be a lot nicer to wear. I wouldn't be, like, burning while wearing the thing and like, s in scorching hot weathers, because it is summer in my area right now. Um, so, yeah. Overall, this shirt piece is, like, definitely the best work of mine. Some of the best work of mine. Now, the mask is definitely, like, probably, like, my best mask I have ever made for anything. And you might be like, uh, this suit, this mask is better. Uh, no, this mask is better because it has textured fabric and everything. I think this is the best I did with the aesthetic I was going for, which is obviously a more homemade aesthetic. As you can see, this is a more of a shirt fabric. I uh, got an athletic shirt and I cut it up into my pattern. Then I sewed the whole thing by hand through the middle of the face because I feel like that works very well for a very homemade type Spider-Man. And this is probably the cleanest paint job I have ever done on a mask, like ever. <laughs> the, uh, lenses uh, were made with leather, the same type of leather I used for the front logo for the frames and the eye mesh is white jersey mesh, similar to the spider punk mask, and I think that makes this whole mask look kind of complete, and it makes it look very homemade, and I quite like it. Now, these gloves, ooh, let's just admit it, these gloves are way better than my old gloves for my ultimate suit. That glove had like circuitry bits on there. I mean, let's face it, that stuff kind of looked a little bad. <laughs> this is a lot more better. This is way better. This is a lot more homemade. Um, and I really like it. There is a bit of controversy surrounding the, uh, the design I went for though, with how there are no webs on the fingers and the palm. And the reason I went for that is because, you know, this whole suit is supposed to be more of a simple take on a Spider-Man suit, so I thought it fit more, and I don't know why, but like, less webs, like, on palms, I feel like people should do that more often. Like the mask, this was sewn from scratch, as you can see, it was sewn from scratch, uh, hand sewed, it, um, with a pattern, with the use of a shirt, yet again. That's, that's pretty much the whole vibe of this thing. Yeah, it's basically Spider-Man suit with made with normal clothing. I didn't really want to go outside of that kind of realm uh, with this suit. I really wanted this whole vibe for the suit to be very homemade. But still looking really badass. Because <laughs> these gloves, this mask, the shirt, and when we talk about the boots, yeah, looks really, really good. So the boots are like some of the most experimental part of this entire costume. I used soles from shoes I bought at Hobby Lobby for about like eight bucks. They were pretty cheap for this. These are more school wear type shoes uh, because I really wanted you know, these to feel like they were made by a high schooler instead of the regular water shoes that everybody wears um, and attaches to their suits. I think this really fits the high school vibe and homemade aesthetic I was going for. As you can see, these socks are very long, so I had to like fold it down because it would go all the way up to like at the top of my knee. You can see the puff paint job. It's pretty good, but like you might not think that because when it's not stretched out, it doesn't look as good. When it did stretch, it started to crack because you know I have to bring it all the way up my leg. I also have uh, padding on the inside. Uh, of the sock that I placed in from the shoe itself. Yeah, it uh, turned out pretty good. This is definitely pretty good um, for a pair. Um, and I really like these. They go very well with my suit and yeah. Welcome to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. And this video has definitely been in the making for a while. And as you can see, I have a mic. I love having a mic it really makes my videos a lot better with sound quality and it just makes it funnier whenever i scream cue spider punk clip ah! but yeah 
if you guys like this sort of content uh, and you want to see more content from me, you can like and subscribe and all that nonsense. But that's always up to you. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See ya.